Welcome back Savages to another video. In this video we're going to be reviewing this new ECT MC plug and play miner. Now this plug and play miner mines ECT and you are rewarded in turn with this token called ECT POW. So in this video we're going to do a full unboxing, see what's included when you buy the plug and play miner. We'll then go on and connect it up to a keyboard and mouse and set this up. And then we'll finish with doing a power consumption test, as I always do, and we'll see how much this bad boy uses when it's in full operation. Let's go. So this is what the plug and play ECT MC miner comes as. It's in a cream coloured box. There's no labels on it other than a sticker just here on the centre, ECT MC. First thing you get is a little thank you note and some instructions. Got a little bit of padding there. This is the miner itself. So effectively, this is just like a mini PC that I've reviewed on the channel many times. It's got the ECT MC sticker on the front. If we look at the actual front side of it, you've got two USB slots, headphone socket and the on off button right there. Got some vents on the side to let out heat. And then on the back, again, we've got some cutouts for some ventilation. Two more USB slots, got an Ethernet, two HDMI slots, and that'll be the power adapter connection right there. And again, on the other side, we've got some vents as well. So next up, let's have a look at the accessories included. First up, power adapter. Looks quite well made that, which is nice to see. You get a long HDMI cable. And you also get a short HDMI cable as well. And lastly, you get a mounting plate right there and some screws. Okay, let's get this connected up to a keyboard monitor and mouse and see what's up. Right then, I've got everything set up. So we've got the keyboard, mouse and the monitor connected up to the unit. Got the unit plugged into a power consumption meter and just on standby with nothing switched on, it's using about 1.3 watts of power. So let's go ahead and switch it on. So like I say, this is a plug and play binder, so it should all be just set up and ready to go. So as you can see, it just auto logs straight into Windows and they've even put their own little background on there as well. So just on the desktop, um, you've got the recycle bin at the top. You've got a link going directly to Microsoft Edge and there's a shortcut right there to go to the launcher. So just before we launch the node, let's just have a look at the spec of the PC. So we're just in the system about screen and Windows. As you can see, the processor is an Intel N100 800 megahertz. It's got 16 gig of RAM installed and 64 bit operating system, which is Windows 11 Pro. So I'm just going to go into device manager to show you some additional specs. So all your inputs and outputs. It's got Bluetooth. It's got a PCI SSD drive. And that's the capacity right there. Built-in Intel UHD graphics. Human interface devices. Controllers. So this is the network adapters. We've got a Realtek Ethernet, one gigabit, and also Wi-Fi. These are your ports, COM1, print queues, processors, that's your N100 Intel processor, TPM module version 2, software components, software devices, sound and video, storage controllers, system devices and USB controllers. 
So just to give you an idea of power consumption while we're in Windows with nothing running, there's no node launched or anything like that, we're using about 13 watts of power, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and launch the node. Right, if it comes up with this message, this application needs admin privileges to read and write data from the internal data directories. Just click on OK and just do yes to this. So from the node launcher screen, you need to choose a client and the one you need to choose is this one on the right called Geth Client. So go ahead and click on that. So you'll just get a little message that pops up there with information just saying no previous data detected, balance is zero. So you need to click on OK on there and then move along to the left and do click on register a node right here. In here, you need to use the same email address that you purchased the license with or the device. You need to create a new username, enter the email in there and also you need to include a wallet address, which is your ECT. So I'm just going to put a link on the screen in the description on how to set up an ECT wallet address. So I won't go through that, but you can just simply add it to MetaMask. So I've gone ahead and entered the credentials in here. I've got the username in there, I've got the email that we purchased the item or license from in here and the ECT wallet address, which I've just used as well. Once you've done that, click on submit. And you'll get a message just at the bottom there saying registration successful. So we can just go ahead and close that. So back on the launch screen, all we need to do now is click on mine ECT PAL. You'll get a little pop up about Windows Defender firewall being blocked. Don't worry about that. Just click on allow access. And that's it. Just leave that running. Now, this might take a while to sync, but once it's synchronized, you should be able to see your balance of the ECT power right up here increase. So I'm going to let this settle and sync and I'm going to leave the power meter on there. But as you can see, even with it syncing, it's still only using around about 13.5 to about 14 watts of power, which is pretty good. I want to see once the balance changes, just how much of an impact this has on the power consumption. So we'll leave this running and come back to it shortly. Many hours later. So here we are 10 hours later. And finally, the blockchain is synchronized. And as you can see, we are now mining because our balance has moved up to 0 0.5 ETC POW tokens. So we're all good to go. So the last thing I want to cover is the power consumption. So right now, with everything connected and the mining has now started, as you can see from the power consumption, we've got around about 18.6 to about 19 watts of power being used. That's with all the accessories connected. So as you might have seen from some of my other videos, I do like to run everything in headless mode where possible, which means I can just remote desktop to the unit if I need to without all these extra bits connected to it. So what I'm going to do right now is disconnect each single item at a time and we'll see how low we can get the wattage of this unit. So right now we're getting about 14 watts of power. So first of all, I'm going to disconnect the mouse. Getting about as low as 13.5. Okay, next up, we're going to remove the keyboard. Okay, we're down to about 13.3, thereabouts. And last up, it's going to be the monitor. Now, the monitor's got a HDMI port going into the back of the mini PC and also a USB to power it as well. So we're going to take both of them out as well. And there we go. How impressive is that? Around about nine watts of power while mining ETC. One final word on claims. So when you get to a balance of 100, just here on the top right of ECT POW, and that usually takes about seven days to get to about 100, you can click on this claim button just here. And then that'll take around about 48 hours to then deposit that into your wallet. If you're interested in buying one of these plug and play ECT MC miners, I'll leave a link in the description, which also includes a 5% discount code. So you can get a nice little saving on one of these plug and play miners. So there you go, Savages. That's the unboxing setup and power consumption of this amazing plug and play ETC MC plug and play miner. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you Savages 
on the next one.